Hey everybody, welcome back to US Mint News and Reviews by Son of a Silver Stacker. That's me. Now, let's get to it. You're looking at in stock American Silver Eagle, whose premium is $8.39. And yesterday, the gold, silver, platinum, and palladium market was pretty much flat, I would think. Now, over here, what price would you sell your American Silver Eagles to these folks? $24.85? Or is that how low can you go? Now, over here to the bullion sales for the United States Mint. And they're updated every weekday by 5 p.m. Yet, we have no new tale to tell for the month of September. Although there are nine days left, I would think that would be enough days to actually produce any kind of numbers. And sometimes we even see some totals added in October for the previous month. So, kind of hoping for that. But it, let's face it, if we do only see 1.5 million for the next two months and then maybe just a trickle for December, that might put us over the 20 million American Silver Eagles for the year. That would be something, wouldn't it? Because last year, well, we already passed the total from last year. All right. Now, over here to coinnews.net, and there's an article by Mike Unser, dated September 20, 2023. U.S. Mint Sales, Marine One Ounce Metal, enjoys robust sales. And they're not joking. It's actually kind of amazing. But what's more amazing is what's happening in some other arenas. And I think the trend started last week. And you won't believe your eyes, and um, I can't wrap my head around it other than the fact that it's just one of those things. Now, here we go. United States Mint introduced one new product for collectors last week. All right. Now, think about that, folks. It has been a while since there was just one product released because let, let's look at back at August. That was a pretty robust month. In fact, it was the busiest month. I think they had 13 items on the product schedule, not to mention the sub-products of each product, Okay. That's amazing. Like, for example, the um, Mississippi Innovation Dollar, right? They had four products within that one product. There it is. That's the Marine Corps medal. That's really cool. I love that emblem. That's amazing. Now, released on September 11th for $75. The, now, and let's face it, folks, all right? The U.S. Mint really needs to come up with a silver price grid the, because they have a precious metal grid, pricing grid, but it only covers... Well, what they feel, I guess, is precious metals because silver is not on that list. And I think that's a miss. Now, here we go again. Released on September 11th for $75. I almost said something else. Well, I might as well. It, I guess having a pricing grid would justify the high prices that we're seeing for silver in the market. Because, I mean, let's face it. We're $23 an ounce, and they're going to sell us this for $75. Wow. Uh, so, are people who are purchasing silver subsidizing everything? All the operations at the Mint, not just the clad folks and the gold and platinum and palladium folks? Sure makes you scratch your head, doesn't it? So let's keep on keeping on. The Marine Metal registered seven-day starting sales of 18227 And that's actually a lot. Making it the top seller for the week ending September 17th. Despite being a new addition, it has already become the second best-selling item in the series. And let's not forget, even though it is the second best item selling in the series, um, the United States Mint could easily, um, I guess, readjust those sales with some reconciliation, okay? Now, this medal is the fourth one-ounce issue in the United States Mint's Armed Forces Silver Medal Program. The first one celebrating the Air Force started with sales of 12799 and has now reached 18479 All right, that's the top dog right there. And this is only about 200 less than that, maybe 250 or so. The second medal, which honors the Coast Guard, debuted with sales of 13661 and has since increased to 16 1,796. The third one, dedicated to the Navy, initially started with sales of 17,828. However, it underwent a significant negative adjustment of 1,781 a few weeks after its release. And I do believe that's what's going to happen to the Marine Medal. And has since began uh, seeing gradual smaller gains. Currently, it stands at 17,480. Definitely a lot less than the Marine Medal. Now, here we go. I've highlighted some interesting numbers that I wanted to share with you. U.S. Mint top sellers. This is a top 10. U.S. Marine Corps medal, we know that one's a, a huge seller, only product that released last week. But look at this, two and three should actually make us say what in the wide world of sports is going on there. Because look at that, almost 10,000 sales for the proof set from 2023. That's remarkable. I think last week we were around five or 6,000, and it's not even the holidays yet. I mean, yeah, we're not even in October. And I understand if you go to your stores, you're going to see Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff and all that stuff. But seriously... We are just getting out of September, and we're seeing the numbers that we see for holiday sales. That's remarkable, folks. So, you're looking at the number four. That's the Proof Silver Eagle. Sold 1,065, and that one actually made a reappearance here at the end of the summer into fall. And I would imagine, well, they easily 
could be producing unlimited amounts of those if they had the demand. Number five is the American Liberty Silver Medal. I think that's pretty awesome. That's the one with the tree there. That's amazing. Perseverance, right? Number six is the 2022 U.S. Mint Set. And that one is actually, well, almost all gobbled up. The total stated product limit for that one's going to be 250000 And I believe the Mint has about 9000 and change. But let's face it, we looked at this last time, last week, and it had about 9000 or so also. So number seven spots, the uncirculated American Palladium Eagle sold 570 Number eight spots, the uncirculated Silver Eagle sold 407 And look at this. This is kind of a, um, a surprise. It's the number nine spot taken by the American Woman Quarters proof set. Sold 302. Isn't that something? And then number 10 spot, U.S. Navy one ounce silver medal, 259. In its latest report, the U.S. Mint published sales data for 356 numismatic products. Among Now, this is interesting, folks. Watch this. Among these products, 60 of them outperformed their sales from the previous week compared to 40 in the prior report. So does that mean that there are some bump in the sales? Well, maybe. But there's something else going on, too. Not counting the new product, three products experienced an increase of more than 1,000 units against five in the previous report. So five in the previous report gained 1,000 and only three in this one. So it looks like more, but not as much. Does that make sense? I guess so. Meanwhile, there were seven products that saw negative weekly sales compared to nine previously. So that's going down, but that's just the, not the volume, the total volume. That's just the number of products. Standouts include the standalone 2023 S-Proof Peace Silver Dollar, which is really interesting, dropping 761. And remember, folks, those came out in August, and they're still dropping by almost a 1,000 on those. And all four roll and bag products containing Mississippi Innovation Dollars, which came out almost a month ago, with losses ranging from 360 units for the 100-coin bags of Denver Mint Struck Dollars to 664 units for the 25-coin rolls from Philadelphia Mint Struck Dollars. That's huge. Now, here we go. U.S. Mint Sales, Numismatic Products, Morgan & Peace, Silver Dollars. Now, I've highlighted the bulk here only because, it, well, and we know the Proof um, Peace and the Proof Morgan have a pretty substantial uh, product limit or stated product limit this year. And that makes me kind of go, well, wait a minute. Why are no bulk purchasers on the record or at least on the uh, sales sheet this particular week? Have they abstained from buying them? I don't know. But check this out. The only one that actually had any kind of movement is that Peace Morgan dollar. Everything else had negative sales. The uncirculated Morgan, all right? And those are still available. Look at that. One sold for the Peace dollar. One last week, unless there was some reconciliation and the eventual total was one. But that's a head scratcher right there. Now, Armed Forces Silver Medals. Look at this Navy one-ounce silver medal. That popped up 1.5%, actually. And I guess what happens is that you get other releases, such as the Marine Corps one-ounce silver medal, and people go, oh, yeah, let me get this other one, too. And that's really how coin collecting kind of works. People go back to collect, right? American Liberty Products, look at that. The Gold Liberty coin sold 142, an increase of 1.3%. And look at that. The American Liberty silver medal sold 656, up 2.61%. 2 I think that's pretty solid. Now, the clad proof sets, that's the story of the day right there. Almost 10,000 clad proof sets for an increase of 3.64%. And folks, the United States Mint is lowering the mintages on all the proof sets. I could probably uh, guesstimate we're going to be less than 400,000 again for the uh, proof set of 2023, just like we were for the 2022. And I think the 23 is going to be less mintage than the 22 is actually. Wow, it's pretty stunning. So also, 23 American Women Quarters, I did talk about that. Silver proof sets, that's a huge jump also. Almost um, just a little over 4,000. That's tremendous. Now, we did talk about the gold uh, Liberty coin, and I think that's exactly why we see the gold uh, sales for the other gold coins not as high as we had during the some earlier parts of the summer. But look at this. This is something else. A 2% increase is 20 units here, 20 units, 21 units there. That's really not that many. 20 equals 2%. So that's kind of a big deal, right? So there really aren't that many, but it is a bump in sales nonetheless. Proof and reverse proof silver eagles. Uh, we talked about that, that they're still available and they could be producing those. Now we got the gold coins. Nothing really going on there. Not that bump we see of the average uh, 1%. Not 1% there at the gold eagle for 2023 proofs. Um, let's see, 22, uncirculated gold. Yeah, that one actually had a decent bump. It's actually twice what it normally is. Sold 103 at 2.7%. That's for 2023 uncirculated American Eagle. But look at this. The bison coin. Yep. Look at that. Didn't even reach 1%. Something else, right? Proof uh, platinum eagles. Look at that. And look at this. 
American Palladium Eagle. And it'd be cool if Mike Unser and the group would actually not necessarily do it by sales volume, but increase percentage. Look at that. I think this would be the top dog for the particular sales this week would be 15.5%. That's amazing. Isn't that something? And this Palladium at an all-time low? You know, I don't even know what all-time highs and all-time lows in Palladium would be, actually. That's something to think about. Now, here we go. Look at this. 51 of the American, uh, well, of the presidential silver medals sold from Abraham Lincoln. And that's only a blip at 0.29. I thought that was going to be something to share. Here we go. American Innovation Dollars, Mississippi. They just got gut punched on that one. That's brutal. And what is what is going on there? And why is that happening? We always have these questions, and the mint isn't really too communicative as to what is going on here. So we have to fill that vacuum with whatever we think is happening. And I just can't explain how incredible that really is. That's just, wow, right? Hmm. That's amazing. So Indiana um, for 2023 at 8,005, which is really interesting because if you remember, the American innovation coins for the P-roll is stated limit is 8,000. So it looks like the United States Mint over, went over their stated product limit for the American innovation dollars featuring the uh, the cars. But not only did they do that for um, Indiana, they did it for Ohio as well. So they're over the stated product limit on that. And, and really, I think that's really interesting how they've done that. However, if you look at it in the reverse, how many times have they come under the stated product limit, right? So that's kind of something I think we need to also think about. Let's keep on going. I'm running out of time. And here we go. We're innovation dollars, innovation dollars, and bam, I think we're getting out of them. There we go. Presidential, Native American. Um, not really much going on with the Kennedy half dollars this time around. Now, look at this. The Hobie D. Dollar quarters are still available, and they had a bump on the 100 coin bag out of Philadelphia. Explain that one to me. Why has that one gone up? And the other one's kind of stayed flat. Interesting, isn't it? Now, over here, Bessie Coleman quarters lost 25 of the three roll set. Thought they wanted to report on that one for you, and I do believe that is it. Isn't that something? Now let's go over to the plus ones today. Bam! This is Proverb 2425, and I myself am guilty of this, where I try and rectify somebody's behavior, and I am just salty, and I don't even, I'm not even nice about it. I'm like, hey, why don't you snap out of it, you know? And uh, yeah, that doesn't seem to work too well, I would think. It's kind of not really at all, actually. It says here in Proverb 2425, the reprovers should be pleasant. And a good blessing will come upon them. No wonder you didn't get that blessing. Now, when warning or advising somebody, the best approach is to begin with praise and by not hurting their feelings. It helps influence them to come around and choose the righteous path. Isn't that huge? So imagine somebody thinks a certain way and acts a certain way, and we want to correct that or modify or coach that behavior. We got to start out with, hey, you're great at this. You're super at that kind of stroke their ego. Isn't that what it really is? Was I mean, it's, I'm not really, I don't know. But it's just approaching them in a pleasant and kind way, I would think. Now, let's go over here to 99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Dap Punk around the world, the official audio. And uh, I dig this stuff. This is really groovy. Hopefully, it'll get you going for today. I like it. You'll probably like it, too. It's um, just one of those songs that just kind of gets you going. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're in, see, well, sub the channel. It's free. Stack her out. Oh, and by the way, have a great day because you're awesome.